Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm gonna do this look for you guys. Which is a give me sun, fresh summer look with a strong highlight. I don't know how I got this look, just keep watching. Let's just get started. I'm not feeling this top today. But... I'm just gonna start with moisturizing my face. I'm just gonna use any lotion that I have on my vanity right now. I need my face to get really tacky for the foundation. My Aphrodite Olive Oil Under Eye Cream. I haven't used this in a while and that's why hence the darkness underneath my eye. So let me just rub this. I'm just gonna use my Makeup Forever Step One Equalizer. So just a little bit and I'm just gonna put this on my T-zone area. And I'm just gonna use my Damp Beauty Blender and I'm grabbing the Born This Way foundation in the shade Sand and this is by Too Faced for about two weeks now and I've been loving it. It's full coverage and it makes your face look dewy and the shade is like perfect for my skin. It's not too dark, not too light. It's just right. So I'm just dotting this all over my face. I find this way to be a little more easier instead of always putting product on to my wrist and then dabbing it with the Beauty Blender or Kabuki brush. I like to dab it all over my face because I see where I need the foundation to be and then I don't waste that much product. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and just push in the product. See how it leaves me with a clean canvas? That's what we're looking for and it's like a dewy. It's not matte like my infallible day for concealer. I'm just gonna take this one today. This is by Sephora Smoothing and Brightening Concealer. And usually I do my concealer first and then I contour my nose. I actually uploaded a video last night of how I contour my nose. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'm just gonna mix it with my Bye Bye Under Eye. So I'm mixing two of them because this is a waterproof concealer. So I'm just gonna mix both of them to blend this out it all over my eyelid as well because I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow primer. For those hot summer days, you always wanna set your makeup because your makeup will be melting off your face. So I'm just setting that concealer. Arch Smooth Operator. Take this brush and just set my whole face. I like to do my eyes first now and then I do my contour for my cheeks. And what's more appropriate than using the Tarte in Bloom palette and then the Tarte um, Rainforest, the Rainforest of the Sea palette because they're more bright shadows for the summer. The shade Flower Child from this palette, it's more of a light, light pink, kind of white shade. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. Me personally, I really don't like so much of a dark eye because I already have like a hood on my eye which is like this chub chub right here. And the darker the eyeshadow I have, the darker, the smaller my eye looks. I'm gonna grab Smarty Pants from the palette with the same brush and then just put it on the corner of the crease. So I'm just gonna put it on the top of the lid. I'm gonna take Sweetheart, which is my all time favorite. Again, I'm using the same brush and just putting it to that crease just the crease itself. And this is when I'm gonna grab the Rainforest of the Sea Palette. I'll start with Cove, which is like a light brown shade. That in the pop of the corners. And this is just gonna warm it up the look a little bit. Flat brush like this. And I'm gonna grab this pink color right here from that same palette called Seashell. This is my favorite part. I'm just gonna pop this in the corner of the lid and the center and this is just going to open up the eye so this look i really want it to be very shimmery and a lot of highlight and that's what i look for for summer looks that little bit of warmth right here and then a light inner corner which i've been doing a lot lately and this just opens up the eye and makes it more wider and more brighter and more awake and alive i really really recommend this palette i love it so much and the shadows are very creamy. Grab some mascara. I'm just gonna try to pick out my favorite one. 
This is in the Grow Luscious Plumping by Revlon. I love this one because of the wand. So I'm just gonna apply this on the top lashes. NARS um, Laguna bronzer. And must I say, this bronzer smells so freaking I'm just gonna grab the same brush that it comes with. I love this bronzer because it's not so yellow and orangey. It's not gray, it's just like the perfect bronzer. It's like the perfect tangle brush and just diffuse that line. You just wanna make sure you're blending everything. You don't wanna have like a harsh cut crease. And then lately I've been using a cream highlighter. So this is from Benefit in the shade Soft Focus and it looks like a lipstick. I'm really loving me putting the cream and then the highlight. So I'm just gonna apply the highlight where I normally do, which is like right here on the highest points of my cheekbones. Like right here, the brow bone. It's such a cute little thing. I got it for free actually from when I went to Sephora, Cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna take a dot right here. And I'm gonna grab my Luxie 522 tapered brush and just apply it right here. You see how like it really brings it out and it's like, God. You never have so more than enough highlight because I love highlighters. And during the summer you always want that sun-kissed Jennifer Lopez glow. A little brush and just go over that highlight. Make over Essential Sunrise palette and take this nice pink shade and just pop it in the highest cheekbones, like my apples. Okay, and for lip, I'm just gonna grab my NYX Soft Matte Cream Lip. And yeah, that's about it. I'm just gonna set my face with Urban Decay Setting Spray. Right, guys and this is the finished look this is more of a open fresh clean cut feel look with a nice pop of highlight to the face so I really hope you guys enjoy this video I'm sorry if it wasn't something like so glamorous but I really wanted to do something nice for the summer because I know in the summertime I don't like to wear so much makeup so I really hope you guys like this look. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else much to say, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.